Before we look at the completed essay, let's just take a look at the question we're going to use. So here's our typical essay question. In this case here, you've attended a discussion on facilities which should receive money from local authorities. What well, the question asks you to do is to write 220 to 260 words. You need to consider two points out of three to discuss. You can also use some of these opinions which other people have given about this particular topic. And then finally, you need to decide which of these is more important for local authorities to give money to. And you must justify your reasons for this. Before we look at the completed example, let's look at how it's organized. The first paragraph is the introduction. The next paragraph is the first point we've chosen here, which is about museums. The next paragraph then is about the second point, which is parks. And finally, the last paragraph will decide which of these two is more important to fund, and it will conclude the essay. Let's move on to the introduction. The first paragraph in the essay is the introduction. And we're just going to look at how this is organized and structured. So here's our example paragraph. And what we're going to do is just to look at the small paragraph in detail and just comment on how it's organized and what kind of effect it will have on the reader. But it is very concise. All of the information there is relevant. The length is okay as well. 36 words is fine. The style is very formal. We can see there are no contractions or no language in there that's very informal. So the writer has managed to do this quite well. And this is what we normally do in the introduction to an essay as we present the topic. And we also give some suggestions about what we're likely to discuss in the essay. And this paragraph does this very well. If we look a little more closely at the language, and clearly the way this is written, it's interesting. There's plenty of information to get the attention of the reader. It uses a number of linking devices. Again, this is important for us to join our ideas together as well as we can. It has a good range of structures in a text that, that has no errors. In this next paragraph, the writer is going to talk about their first point. And here's our second paragraph, and we can see again, it's a nice length. So let's just look at it in a little bit more detail. Once again, the style is perfectly okay. The language is formal or neutral. It does hold the reader's attention as the writer has provided a lot of useful detail. We can see clearly in this paragraph that the writer has offered opinions. They've provided support ideas. And then finally, at the bottom of this paragraph, we can see that they've offered an extra point. And these are all very important things to do. If we look at the language, again, it uses a range of linking devices and they are suitably used in this case. And we can also see a good range of vocabulary in a text that has no errors. Let's take a look at the next paragraph. This paragraph talks about parks, which is the second point the writer has chosen. And once again, we can see if we look at our example paragraph here, that it's a nice length and there is plenty of detail in it. What we can see here is that the writer has given a clear opinion. They've also added support information to justify that opinion. There is a second point, and this point too is also well developed. If we move on now to look at the language, and clearly with the detail in this paragraph, the writer does maintain the attention of the reader. We can see a range of linking devices. Some of them are common, some of them are not so common, but it is important to be able to use a good range of these. We can also see some appropriate vocabulary in this paragraph. And once again, there are no errors. Let's move on now to the final paragraph, the conclusion, or where the writer justifies their choice.
This final paragraph is where the writer chooses between the two options and justifies that choice. Once again, we can see that the length of the paragraph is good and there is a lot of information in it. So let's just examine it in a little bit more detail. Clearly what the writer has chosen to do is to compare both ideas and they made a choice here. So the writer here makes a comment about both of the options and then decides which of these to choose. The writer also provides reasons, in this particular case about parks, where they are more attractive, they appeal to everyone and they feel that it will be the best type of approach. And then before completing the essay, the writer gives a further justification. So this is a well-organized and appropriate way to make a choice. And if we look at the language the writer has used, we can see one interesting point here where the writer is referring to both in this first sentence. There is also a range of linking devices in particular ways. These ones, again, if you, if you look at these types of devices, they're not specifically linking devices. There are ways of connecting ideas together. There's a good range of structures. And once again, there are no errors in the text.